Hey guys, good morning. Okay, so first of all, I appreciate you hanging around a few minutes before we get started. Uh, we got a few people here. I just want to talk about um, the first question you asked was um, about a, uh, Peter asked a uh, good brand of microwave. Now I have a Toshiba microwave that I reviewed on the show. And this Toshiba microwave also has air fry. I didn't know microwaves came with air frying. Uh, I can't say, I would look around, I'd shop around price-wise. Uh, I'd start with the Toshiba one that does the air frying. It does everything. It does pizza, reheating, everything. Frozen, all that stuff. Um, it's a nice microwave. I reviewed it on the show. You can check it out. But I'd look for a reputable brand in microwaves that you can basically uh, lower the price. We can get a better price. But uh, start with that Toshiba one. Let me know what you find. Um, so anyway, guys, I lowered, literally this morning, I lowered the price of masks. You, got, you guys were asking me, why are the masks uh, $20? So I was like, wow, that's a lot for a mask that costs like a dollar. But unfortunately, I have to pay the manufacturer that prints on the mask. So I went in, I found the spot where you can adjust pricing. And I took a big chunk out of that. I took about five dollars off each one. So I lowered the price. I like removed most of my profit, so that it was just the manufacturer's price. Um, so you can go in there. I will we'll give you a link. All my merchandise. There's new uh, zip up hoodies in there. I just designed them for Jack on the Go for cooking with Jack. But here's the link if you need it. Um, let me go over to Facebook real quick. And nobody's even there. <laughs> I don't know why I do Facebook. Because I got some good friends there. So let's post that. And so if you want to uh, buy something from the merch store, help yourself. But uh, I got zip-up hoodies. I don't like pullover hoodies. I like zip-up hoodies. Which of your smokers do you prefer? Uh, I prefer, there's two brands I prefer. Hitbox because of the price. And... And it's good quality. You have nothing to worry about. But by design, good morning, Laura. Um, good morning, Bubblegum. By design, I like Camp Chef because you can pull a knob and the ashes come out. And you can just have a bucket underneath. And then you can pull a knob and the pellets come out. And you can have a bucket underneath. They're brilliant. I've been wanting It's got Wi-Fi. It's got everything I need on a smoker. And it's got a griddle on the side you can buy. Um, so, oh, someone stole my garbage cap, cab, can. Oh, that stinks. I never even thought of that. Usually I've, I've heard people losing the tops, but, um, anyway, uh, so basically, um, I do have boys club. I've come up with a design. So hang in there. Um, it's going to say, uh, uh, don't make me put you in the boys club. It's going to have a graphic. So. Um, I will let you know when that is. But I'll teach you. Let's see. What's your favorite Lazy Man recipe and why? Favorite? I grew up on Lazy Man's lasagna. That's how I came up with the Lazy Man series. Was That was one of the first Lazy Man videos I did on the show. Lazy Man's lasagna is so good. It's got like three cheeses. It's all gooey. It's a total mess. And nobody has ever said they didn't like it. Uh, good morning, CJ. Hey, by the way, CJ, the theaters are opening up. I've already reserved my tickets. So movie theaters. It's funny. I have a, a Regal Unlimited card where I can watch movies as much as I want. My wife has one too. But they don't, the theaters are being weird. They only let you buy one seat per person, per card. Meaning I couldn't buy it. I would have to pay money, which I've already got the free passes for my wife and me. So I don't want to pay money for a ticket. Okay. My wife basically can't sit next to me. That's okay. So what do you do? You buy the next seat over. So there's a space between you, right? And then just have your wife move over when you get to the theater. That's all. If it's your family um, and you're trying, that's going to be a big issue because everybody has to have a separate account. And every account is going to be separated by a seat. So families aren't going to be able to sit together. So we just picked another seat and then she's going to move over to the seat that will be empty in the movie theater. Just want to let you know if you haven't already done so, please smash the like button. Thank you, Laura. Uh, let's see here. 
Mm. Uh, I'm doing really good. Things are great. Uh, butter chicken is good. I'll have to look into that. Thank you. Um, so today is basically about you guys. Uh, I would love to see your take on some Indian food. I would love to get Indian food recipes. I've got to do some research because nobody's sending them to me. That's fine. I'll, I'll go find it. I want to find a recipe that's true Indian. Okay. My buddy Rohan, he is also, I think he's Indian and uh, he's supposed to be sending me one. So who knows? But if you're going to send me a, a Swedish dish or a German dish or an, any dish that's international, make sure it's not been Americanized. I don't want America to have affected that dish. I want the true recipe. Uh, would you come to Portugal to try out food? I would love to go to Portugal. I would love to go travel around the world, guys. Um, there, there may be. I'm not planning anything overseas for quite a while just because of conditions that are going on. Uh, but uh, I heard some movies were going to be like 15 cents. Yeah, they're all old movies. Who wants to see Jaws again? I've already watched it like 10 times. Okay, so yeah, the, the 15 cent movies are not for the new movies coming out, is what I heard. Uh, don't tell me what to do. Okay, whatever. Uh, deal to ever eat just butter. No, no, never. But the fair does sell deep fried butter. I've never tried it, never had it. That just sounds nasty. Uh, how is Jack Jr. doing? Okay, Jack and Brianna. Just so you know, everybody, jackandbrianna.com is the page that will take you. You have to log in on the internet on your, uh, to their Facebook page. They got a Facebook page. We're going to update you on. That's where we're going to broadcast the wedding. Uh, what is it? Se September 19th, honey? Yeah. Yeah. September 19th is the, is the wedding ceremony and celebration and all that. And uh, so it'll be, it's jackandbrianna.com. That'll point you to the Facebook page. So log in, sign up for the page, please. Um, it's going to be cool. Uh, what do you think of, who is it? Wait, who is Aunt Myrna? I need to go back, not move too much. Uh, who is Aunt Myrna? Aunt Myrna is a true person. It is Tammy's aunt on her side of the family. And she lives in Alabama and she's got some old recipes and got some great cooking tips that I've used. Uh, what is your favorite food to eat and favorite food to make? Ah, favorite food to eat is steak. Favorite food to make is chili. I love making chili. Hi, Jack. When can we get new recipes from Aunt Myrna? Um, I haven't talked to her in a while. We haven't stayed tight and in touch. She's hours away from me. Um, she's doing good. But uh, that series is kind of just just doing okay. I'd love to do another series with some um, with her again, maybe. So if I talk to her again, I'll hit her up for a recipe or two. Uh, how do I make nachos that aren't soggy? It feels like a microwave makes chips soft. Um, <clears throat> it's not, you can, you can cook them in the oven if you want. That'll crisp up the chips. It won't soften them. Uh, make sure you do chips, cheese, chips, cheese, chips, cheese, chips, cheese. You know, layer it. That's the number one problem with nachos. You get to the bottom and they're all boring chips. Nobody wants them. Out here in Tennessee, they use something like queso. Uh, they, it looks like, I mean, they use like a liquid white cheese on their nachos. It's like breast milk on your nachos. Who wants that? I'm from California. I get the cheese. You can stretch a mile. You're pulling it apart. It's awesome. Thanks for answering my question. No problem. Uh, that's what we're here for. Do you still undercook chicken? All right. Congratulations. First person to go to the boys club. You need to. Uh, there you go. Take care, Charles. Have a good one. All right. Do you still like sushi? Just watch the. Yes. Love sushi. Still doing sushi wars. I uh, just did the sushi place in my hometown. Hey, Jack. Good morning. Greetings from North Carolina. Question. For you, what is your favorite scripture in the Bible? I'd like to try to stay. You know what? You you know what, uh, Timothy? You can write me privately, and we'll talk um, about that. But uh, I'd like to stay right on food if I can. Um, but uh, it's in Proverbs. But we'll talk later. <laughs> can you please turn the comments back on? Oh, absolutely not. I just put somebody in the boys' club. That stuff would happen all day long if I turn the comments on. 
Can you please turn the comments back on for cooking videos? You can comment. I always tell everybody you can comment everywhere else on social media, but not on YouTube. Sorry. Uh, do you believe in ghosts, Jack? Mm, I believe in the Holy Ghost. You are doing this show so extremely good. Have you ever thought of making YouTube your profession and post more often videos? I plan to. Uh, let me tell you my goal. Well, I used to do radio, so I could talk. I do. I watched um, Philip DeFranco on YouTube trying to do a live show. Man, he sucked. If, well, I love Philip DeFranco. He's like one of my favorite YouTubers. But he couldn't do live. A lot of people can't do live. He just could. It was. Um, um, it was just. It was. It was really. If he wasn't edited and recorded, it wasn't tight like he normally is. I guess I got used to him talking so cleanly, edited. So uh, he just can't fill time and he can't ad lib. That's it. You got to be like kind of off the cuff. Um, but I still say um, like I just did. Uh, what if you didn't answer my, why it didn't you answer my Rona question? I'm dying. I don't know what that means. Okay, see you later. Anyway, that's why no one watches anymore because we can't comment. Okay, that's not true. I have thousands of videos on the latest video that's up, all my videos. So I don't know what you're talking about. But Strawberry Jam, you just keep wishing for that, and we'll see what we can do. But uh, uh, what do you think of the whole face ma mask protest? Sorry if someone already asked you that. Okay, face mask, yeah, because it's the sign of the times. Okay, face mask, I always said, respect the face mask respect the not face mask. The problem is it doesn't work both ways. You guys do face mask shaming and all that. I don't care. If you want to shame me, that's fine. If I don't want to wear a face mask or, you know, if I, mo you know, most of the places I go, I have to take it off. So like the movie theater, I'm going to, have to take it off to eat my popcorn or to eat uh, whatever I, whatever snack I have for the theater. Um, restaurants, you got to take it off. So it's, it's kind of weird. Let's see. I'm walking into a restaurant Everybody's social distanced, so nobody's near me, but I have to wear a mask to the table. I'm not sure what I'm catching. I'm not touching the table. I'm not touching the salt and pepper. And those are gone, by the way. You have to ask for salt and pepper now. So many things have changed. So many things are crazy, but I get it. You know, Do you do any voice training? Uh, whenever I have to speak for a longer time, I get hoarse. I get hoarse, too. I make sure I always have a drink next to me so that I can wet my throat. But uh, I don't do voice training. I've done, I did radio for seven years. I did nightclubs for seven years. I, I've been talking my whole life. <laughs> Go ask my mom. Uh, you wear a face mask to protect other people. Don't be a jerk. Oh, I'm not being a jerk. Um, I understand you wear face masks to protect other people. But I don't go around anybody, literally. If I... If you follow me, there's nobody near me. If I go to Walmart, you follow me into Walmart. Let's talk about this. All right. So I usually have one of those cards. So nobody's really close to me. Okay. I don't go. I'm not judging you. I love your videos. No, don't worry about it. I want to explain this. Okay. I respect everybody who's wearing a face mask and everybody who doesn't want to wear one. I, me personally, I truthfully don't feel like I would die from the virus, but, um, but you know, you all can, I mean, you guys believe many things that I don't believe. And I believe many things that some of you don't believe. And I respect that, but obviously you don't because you told me not to be a jerk. So, um, there's nobody near me. I'm not spitting on the produce. I never did. Why weren't you wearing a face mask last year, RH? Why didn't you? Because the, the flu is a bigger killer than Corona. They've admitted it. They've proven it. We've seen no flu numbers. So you sit here and tell me, don't be a jerk. Wear your face mask to protect, uh, protect other people. Where was your face mask last year? I didn't see it on your face. Oh, my gosh. You know, and it's just a new thing that they invented and everybody fell in a line. Okay, that's great. I truly do. I don't look at anybody wearing a face mask any different. And somebody's not. Most people don't do that. It's like Republican, Democrat, PC, Apple, every you know, iPhone, Android. I mean, everything has sides. Oh, where is Edgar? 
Edgar is a pastor in Anaheim, and he's doing great. I haven't talked to him in, in a little bit. I have to check out. The droplets are propelled into the air when you speak. Okay, it's been doing that my whole life. Remember the cold? You didn't cover your face when you had a cold. You coughed in your, you taught people in school to cough into their arm. Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't spit on people when I talk to them. Um, no wonder Jack turned off comments just by looking at the comments on this live stream. Thank you, Adam. I've been saying that for weeks. Uh, corona is worse than the flu. That's why. RH, you're completely wrong. Corona is not worse than the flu. Go look at the article where the CDC admitted they took flu and pneumonia numbers and put them towards coronavirus. Okay? The bigger killer is the flu. So keep that mask on year in, year out. Okay? Um, there is no proof that it's bigger than the flu. Yeah, the CDC put out an article saying, we're sorry, we gave you wrong numbers in Florida. We counted uh, colds, the flu, and we counted pneumonia. Go look up, that article exists. I know that for a fact because I looked it up. Uh, what's the most spicy meal you ever had prepared? Oh, it was a Thai restaurant. I didn't realize like six is painful. Like you have numbers in Thai restaurants, Vietnamese restaurants. You can order, uh, you can say, I want a number three three heat level and they'll make it i don't think i can go above three a six i went to and that was pretty bad uh i couldn't oh i'll tell you the other meal that i couldn't eat i ordered i went to princess hot chicken and i ordered the wings right i ordered the mild and i couldn't eat them they were so hot my mouth was burning i was crying i couldn't i ate one wing out of three and realized never again uh, you might want to, yeah, face match with right human interaction. Uh, I don't know anyone personally who do see. I'm with you. Go look up the actual stats from the CDC. Okay. Not whatever right wing conspiracy theories. All right, look, that's fine. But the bottom line is, I I'm not going to argue it. Once again, you believe what you want to believe. We'll talk about it later, okay? Uh, now is not the time to argue. Uh, I want to answer your guys' questions. Let's see. Show me your and let's see. We can all predict ourselves from front. Wow. All right. So uh, a lot of discussion here. Good thing CJ and Laura are here, huh? Can you remake Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad? Why would I remake a video? That's like remaking. Um, that's like remaking Wizard of Oz. It's like you don't remake one, something you've already done. Why would I do that? Uh, I, I may remake it, a video I've done to make it better, like Bacon Explosion 2. Okay? I tried to make it better than my first video from years ago. Can you remake Emmer? Oh, like, hey, why did you make the party cheese salad? Okay, we're done talking about the party cheese salad. You guys don't bring it up, all right? So uh, I've already answered that. Back to the cooking topic. Peppers would be an interesting review. Yeah, I don't do spicy, guys. Uh, hi, Jack. Cheers from Brussels. God bless Brussels. I agree with all right. Jack. I mean, uh, you and Strawberry Jam should get a chat room together. Jack, I mean, but I love that video. Okay, good. That's cool. The only time I redo is to make it better or to add more to it, and then I'll redo it. I, there are some classics I want to redo. I want to do redo my rice pudding. That's probably my next redo video. I want to do it again and make it better. Uh, do you have a stuffed pepper video? I do. I do. I, I believe it, it should say it in the title. Stuffed peppers. Do a search. Um, years ago. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, I love you, Jack. I love you, too. Uh, is, is it Israeli? Am I pronouncing it right? Uh, Israeli, uh, let's see. Have you ever heard about the no need bread? Any views on that? I did that. It was a 30 second, it's called 30 second bread, I think. And I didn't need the bread. I just put it off in a bowl on the, off to the side. Hi, Jack, can you make uh, birria tacos? I'll have to look that up. What's special about birria tacos? What is birria? I don't know what birria is. Do you have any recipes for sourdough pizza? 
Mm, that's pretty interesting. The only pizzas I'm interested in are like the gluten one, gluten free ones, and the um, cauliflower crust ones. I try not to eat too much. Like when I'm filming, I may just eat a slice and then I'll just scrape the toppings off. Uh, we make Chicago style deep dish pizza. Wow, that's a big order. Yeah, that's good. That's a tough one. I I would have to study that because Chicago. Just so you guys know, a true Chicago style deep dish pizza, the crust is a pie crust. If you've ever tasted, I mean, that's why they call it a pie, a pizza pie. But the deep dish, you can get a pie crust, and it's filled with sauce. And then there's a there's a phrase, and I can't remember what it's called, that you order. I think it's just upside down deep dish. But you can order everything upside down. So you can have sauce on top, toppings on bottom, or flip it, toppings on top, sauce on bottom. But it don't matter. It's that thick. And don't eat it with your hands like I did. Boy, was an, I, I an idiot in my videos. I grabbed it with my hands like it was a real pizza slice. I'm not New York. That's a Chicago deep dish. You're supposed to use a knife and a fork. Uh, are you going? Let's see. You have a recipe on grilled chicken. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, every every chicken recipe is grilled. Uh, I only said, let's see, you were the best, Jack. Love Stacey and Dave from the UK. Uh, love you, man. Thanks. Uh, Bubblegum, go look up the Wolf Pit. He does tons of that stuff. Uh, I'm friends with the Wolf Pit. Ironically, I know him. He's pretty cool. I, I don't watch his channel, and but I do know him. We've talked and we've, we've discussed some things. Uh, it's pretty easy at home, though. You just have to let it rise at room temperature. I saw you did uh, Courtney's in Mount Juliet. Check out Catch Twenty Two if you're ever in the area. Matt, thank you. I love the. I love this. Okay, so let me tell you really quick. I'm gonna take a pause from questions. I just want to tell you what I did. I got tired of Facebook Nazis. Okay. I got tired of joining a group and saying, oh, you know, I would share a lot of things, my recipe, or I would share a good barbecue place or whatever. And if anything was inappropriate that they didn't like, they would boot you out or they would get rid of your video. Now, you guys know I'm brutally honest. About a TV show, it'd be called Brutally Honest. But you guys know I'm brutally honest, and I'll tell you the truth, because I don't want you wasting your money at a restaurant that doesn't do it right. If the barbecue's really bad, I'm going to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm not going to be bought and paid for it like some TV celebrities. So um, so basically, I got tired. I, I got booted because I made one criticism, or I had another brand name in the background or something. I mean, there's like, uh, there's like a million reasons I've been booted. And I'm tired of it. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make up my own Facebook group. I'm, I have uh, Let's Eat Nashville and Let's Eat Hendersonville. I have both those. Uh, and this way, there's no, no Nazis who are kicking out anybody who breathes in the wrong direction. Everybody has a voice. It's to share. It's to, it's to inform people. If, like, Jolly Ollie's just opened, I think, last night. Everybody around here has been waiting for Jolly Ollie's to open. So I announced it. But I don't want, you know, I don't, I don't like Facebook group police. So uh, it's called Let's Eat Nashville and Let's Eat Hendersonville. Uh, now back to question. Sorry. Uh, what was said about Corona? Oh, I don't know. I've already forgotten. The difference is that for a flu, that, no, no one talked about that. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for explaining stuff, guys. Uh, any plans of doing Eastern North Carolina barbecue style video? Yes. When I do my next, all right, when I do my next barbecue wars, I don't know when that is. We haven't set dates for it. But when I do, I think I'm going to go up to Kansas City and review Kansas City barbecue. I, I don't know if I keep them separate. I may go over to the Carolinas to cover Carolina barbecue. But I hate to mix them. That's like mixing deep dish pizza and New York pizza. Uh, can you make a homemade pizza on the show with gluten-free crust? Uh, I would rather make it on a cauliflower crust, David, but thanks for it. Let me look into that, okay? Um, the, 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 my favorite thing is, my favorite thing is um, putting toppings under the cheese. Do you guys remember in California, if any of you are from California, there was a place a couple years back called Numero Uno's Pizza. I don't know if they're still around. They would always, their best feature, they were the only pizza place that I knew that would put the toppings under the cheese. Well, I mean, you can 
rip off people by not putting enough topping, but putting it under the cheese because you can't see it. But they never ripped off. They were a, a good place. Um, Jack, how was your health? Doing great. I got two weeks left in this foot cast, and then it's back to the gym. I can't wait. I am so excited to start walking again. Uh, it, it will be so painful because I know how my lungs have changed, and I know how my body's changed over, over this whole time period, the whole year. But that's okay. I got the rest of my life to build my strength back up, and that's going to be fun. Uh, let's see. Good morning from New Jersey. God bless you guys in Jersey. It, it's weird that you said New Jersey. Anybody from New Jersey only says Jersey. They never say new. They know it's not new. Hi, Jack. Love your cooking show as well. Thank you. Uh, I'm a rocker to you uh, on, on the go. Thank you for your prayers. Awesome. I'm here if you need me. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Could one put a pizza into a smoker? Oh, my gosh. Mike. The best thing I ever discovered was frozen pizza. Go grab a cheap frozen pizza and put on the smoker. And tell me if it isn't the best pizza you've ever eaten. No lie. You, I took a, um, the Sicilian Brothers pizza or whatever, and I put it on the smoker. It's amazing. It's the best way to cook your pizza is on the smoker. Uh, let's see. Uh, brioche buns or sesame seed. I don't do sesame seeds because over time, as you get older, sesame seeds – Strawberry seeds, those get stuck in your, you know, digestive tract. They're just known to. And I try and stay away from seeds, sunflower seeds, all that. I don't want inflammation. I don't want that pain. It's pretty bad. Plus, my mom had diverticulitis, so I've got to be careful about seeds. So I stay away. Uh, if a recipe asks for sesame seeds, I leave it out. Uh, brioche buns uh, is my second pick. My number one pick for hamburger buns is the Hawaiian rolls, guys. I knew it's cool. There's a place in California, Pasadena, that they would take a group of four uh, Hawaiian rolls and slice through them and open them up and put a burger in there. Now they make, this is before they made their burger buns. Now they make burger buns. So, oh my gosh, uh, don't eat the strange Chinese seeds. There you go. You never know. Stuff's gro I, look, the only reason my stomach's so big is Chinese seeds. They're growing. No, just kidding. I'm teasing you guys. What? No, we're talking about, I think Kevin's referring to the Chinese seeds people are being male, honey. My wife's saying, no, they're called chia seeds. I'm like, no. We're talking the Chinese seeds. Uh, when will you make another Playing With Your Food episode? Um, I Trust me, I'm, I'm going full board. Um, we're, we're wrapping up our sauce business, we're working on that. We have a whole bunch of sauce still in the warehouse, but we're going through that. Once that's done, once my cast comes off, right now, I'm kind of, I guess you could say, I'm in a period of my life where I'm just trying to get by because I, I can't stand for the videos and stuff. There's so much I want to do. I want to get my truck and drive again, uh, all that stuff. Um, but, um, yeah, so basically... Um, that's, I'm waiting for all this to pass. And in two weeks, I'll be out of this, and I'll be able to build up my strength again. I mean, everything will start moving in a few weeks. Now, you guys will probably still see me the next few videos in my cast, but uh, it'll be gone. Uh, you should do a Jack U video again, explaining some basic techniques and stuff. Uh, these were funny. Yeah, I, Jack U. So when I experiment with a new series, um, I... I watched the numbers, and Jack, you didn't do very well, even though I thought it could be something great. It could probably be its own channel to teach people, like, how to fry an egg, how to peel an egg, how, what's a rolling boil, um, what does sous vide mean? I mean, there's so many, like, what is couscous? Is it pasta or is it rice? You know, what is risotto? Is it pasta or is it rice? I mean, there's so many questions people don't know the answers to. I'm sure you guys know. Uh, but it confuses the average homebody. Doesn't know. Ever heard of kolodets? Uh, let's see, kolodets. It's a Russian meat jelly. Maybe you could make it. Hmm. Russian meat jelly. I'm not sure. That doesn't sound interesting, exciting to me, that I would think everybody would want to see a Russian meat jelly. Uh, let's see. 
<clears throat> Nowadays, we elderly on Social Security need recipes that we can stretch out. Um, yeah, usually lazy. Go to my lazy man's recipe playlist. That's usually on the cheap side because you're trying to shortcut it by filling in the gaps. But um, that's what I recommend. I I know there's a lot of college students that are, you know, I may do like ten dollar meals. I'm gonna do a oh I forgot. I'm doing a Dollar Tree chili. That's a video coming. Tammy, when do we shuffle that? Oh, We're gonna, some one of you guys recommended Dollar Tree chili, so I'm gonna do it. So that'll be fun. I did a Dollar Tree Thanksgiving, remember? Under fifty dollars, you could have a full Thanksgiving meal. The Jack on the Go videos are the best, and your barbecue series is good too. By the way, once again, I have zipper hoodies in my store, and um, I have a Jack on the Go zipper hoodie. You got the logo here and on the back, and then I got a Cooking with Jack logo on the front, logo on the back. So, do you mind talking about why you're selling the sauce business? Is it just too much work? It's too much physical work for my age. I've been lifting cases for over 10 years. 20 years. 20? 20? Oh, yeah, since Jack Jr. was born. I've been lifting cases, 50-pound cases. You have no idea the thousands of cases my whole life I've been. And we still will make sauce for restaurants and butcher shops and, uh, in California, in Vegas, and in Tennessee but we're not going to be selling to the public anymore um, unless they want a full run of sauce. Sure. I'll sell you a full run of sauce, but I don't want to be, I want to make the sauce and then have the restaurant come pick it up. That's the design we're going to. So, so I can concentrate on the show because there's so many things I want to do in the show. I want to do more videos per week. I want to do more talking with you guys. I want to, um, but you know, there's some cool things I want to share with you guys, too. Um, I want to do more food wars. I need to get more sponsors. So we, the next one I want to do is the pizza. But I'm probably doing the Cajun food wars first in New Orleans. I believe in November we're, we're lining that up. So there's so much I want to do. And I believe once the cast is off and I get back into exercising and all that, uh, and I find my way back, that it's, it's all going to turn around. It's like a whole new life. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I think I enjoy the playing with your food videos and the product reviews. Hope there's more in the pipeline. There is more. Uh, there is there's a, a, an egg, I can't tell you, an egg device. It's really cool. You're going to love it. Uh, yes, I love those recipes. Thank I have playlists, guys. If you only like playing with your food, I have a playing with your food playlist. If you only like Lazy Man videos, I've got a Lazy Man video. If you like product reviews, I have over 100 product reviews. You can go through that. Uh, and I apologize. I did a horrible job. I'm going to admit it right now. I did a horrible job on that uh, that oven, that countertop oven. So I'm giving them I, – I paid for the oven. They didn't give it to me. So I bought the oven. It's the Calphalon countertop oven. So I'm planning a second test on it. We're not going to try and air fry in it. We're going to uh, roast a full-size chicken. We're going to season it up. I feel like I didn't do it justice. So I'm dedicating another video to the Calphalon uh, countertop oven. Uh, let's see. Can you do Lazy Man sous vide? You, um, ever thought of doing movie food reviews? Movie food reviews. Yeah, I've done, I've done some Gar um, Harry Potter stuff. I've done some Game of Thrones stuff. Um, but I don't want to be like a pop culture type of a show. I just want to do whatever excites me. <clears throat> All right, that's what I do when my throat starts to get dry. Uh, I think you ignored my comment. Oh, I did. I apologize. Um, sous vide. My wife says it's a great technique. Yeah, I like sous vide. I plan on doing a sous vide video. I'm getting a blowtorch gun, uh, like a grill gun, where you can light a fire in your barbecue. It's even better than the last one I showed you guys. So I may be doing like sous vide and using that in the video. I don't know. Uh, that's the second biggest coffee mug I've ever seen. Yeah, look at it. Big in my head. But I tell you, when I'm done with that coffee, I'm ready to go. 
Let's see. Uh, we're almost up uh, with time. Which blowtorch would you recommend? Uh, hang on, Mike, uh, because I think it's called Grill Gun. You can look it up on the internet. I've heard good things about the Sears All. Check out, check out Grill Gun. Check out Sears All. And figure out which one's better. And if you want to message me, you can. Uh, what is a Grill Gun? Can I use my army rifle too? No, I, totally different. What's up, Jack? How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. Let's see. Are you, are you people with this microwave? What's the best way to make popcorn? Uh, I have a. I did a popcorn review on a. It's a bowl with a lid, and it smashes it down to flat, and, and then it's like an accordion, and then it pops up. That's my favorite way to make popcorn. Have you ever been to, to a kiwi farm? No, I have not. Uh, let's see what you think about. Tavala ovens. I believe a lot of these ovens are way too expensive. Um, I would price around. Find out the temp. Oh, look at the temperature. Look at the details. Find a cheaper oven that does the same details. So if it only goes to four fifty, price out other countertop ovens that go to four fifty. That Calphalon oven I like. But guess what's coming? I'm my mind's blown. I haven't seen it yet. It's a seventeen and a half quart. Yeah, that's right. 17 and a half quarts air fryer. The biggest one I've ever done on the show was 10 and a half. Uh, do you like gherkins? Um, I don't know what gherkins are off the top of my head. I just, I think that's, yeah, I'm just, it's one of those food items that I'm not sure. Is that an animal or is it a animal, vegetable, mineral, or a place? <laughs> uh, gherkins. Uh, let's see. Do you have a favorite arcade video game? Uh, I used to like Tempest. If you've ever played arcade games, you, I used to just spin the dial real quick and hit, bah, 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 bah. you shoot the things coming up. Uh, I always liked Tempest. Uh, I like Gal Galaga. Uh, let's see. Oh, small. Oh, yeah, small pickles. Yes. Um, I've had them before. They're good. Yeah. Thank you, Grizzly, for telling me. Uh, and Bubblegum. I love you guys because you always teach me. I learn as much from you as you learn from me. I cannot give you enough credit. There is a restaurant near us called Boingo Tango that does deep fried gherkins. Really? It's kind of creepy, kind of weird. Well, I guess not because fried pickles are deep fried, right? So can Lee eat cheese? I don't know what it means. Have you ever played um, Super Nintendo? Dude, I've owned every Nintendo I have every Nintendo machine ever made. Uh, you have a good day, Jack. Take care, David. Uh, have you ever played Super Nintendo? Could you also expand your videos to video on PC game reviews? Uh, Half-Life. I was a big Half-Life. Uh, Counter-Strike. Those were some PC games. I love PC games because of Half-Life. Because when I bought it, it took me four hours to play it. It took me four hours to get it started and stop crashing. I, that's what I hate about PC games. Four hours, because I didn't, I didn't take the Direct X switch and turn it on. That was it. Took me four hours to figure that out. I thought, no, this isn't my video game life. My video game life isn't figuring out what I need to do in the hardware or the software. My video game life is like the old Nintendo thing. You put the cartridge down in it, and you start playing right away. That's the kind of video gaming I like to do. Did you ever play Diablo? Yes, I did. Guys, I have played so many games. I have played Call of Duty. My favorite all-time game is, um, uh, what's that? Why am I forgetting? The guy, is, his name is Drake. And anyway, it's a series of games. I forget uh, what it was called. That's a Horizon Zero Down. I've played so many games, you have no idea. I've played all the Dungeon Warrior games. I've played all the Mario stuff. Paper Mario. I mean, you have no idea. I grew up on video games. Devil May Cry 5 is the best. Devil May Cry 5 is my favorite. Do you watch any streamers? No, 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 no. Uncharted. That's it. Thank you, Mike. Uncharted is the best game you'll ever play. The first one's okay. It's good. But the rest is amazing. I promise you, nobody, none of you will say, I didn't like Uncharted. Okay, I come from sc the school of, I want to play the game. I don't come from today's generation. 
oh, I'll watch you play. No, that's no fun. You might as well watch a movie. Uh, let's see. Exactly. Lazy Man's Gaming. Uh, Half-Life 2 was good. Grizzly, yeah. Thanks for all you do for us. Not a problem. Thank you, Reese. Uh, Boomer Video Games. Um, once again, Boomer is a, a term for older people than me. I don't know why you keep using the term Boomer. That's baby boomers, and they're already retired. They're done. They're, they're kicking back with an uh, umbrella in their drink. All right, Mario Party was awesome. Yes, we love um, You Don't Know Jack on the PlayStation. We play that all the time. I'm sorry, Jack, that I'm late, and I didn't know if you responded to this question. What is wrong with your arm? Um, I can see I can still, you know, I have to exercise it, and I'm being lazy. So uh, I'm going to be talking to my wife today about an exercise routine just for my bad arm. Uh, what happened was I had a stroke, and it was a brainstem stroke, and nobody's ever survived that. So I'm, I'm blessed to still be alive. Uh, uh, let's see here. I think the one, I don't mind talking about the stroke either. It doesn't bother me. I think people watch streamers because they are really good at them and want to learn. I don't like playing online with other people because they all curse and they're all racist and they're all just negative Nancy's. It's horrible. And they, they don't care about anybody. It's just not people I want. Private parties that play online, I'm good with that. So some of these classic games were really good. I doubt everything comes. There's a new um, Assassin's Creed coming. You can pre-order it right now. Uh, that's, that's another one of my favorite series. Have you played The Secret? Okay, guys, how did this food channel turn into a video game channel? Are you guys that many gamers? Monkey Island, I've heard great things about that, but I've never played it. Do you like hamsters? There we go. Hamsters are great with brown gravy. No, no I'm just kidding. Yeah, I've never, never eaten a hamster. <laughs> um, no, I don't like hamsters. I love dogs. Thank you for your response. I love your product reviews. You have one fan in Poland. God bless Poland. Hello, everybody said hi. Uh, have you played L.A. Noir? Yes, Grizzly, I did. I did play that. Uh, let's see. Have you played Mirror's Edge or Metro? Yes. I played Metro, not Mirror's Edge. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep answering these. Have you tried electric pulse therapy for the arm? Yes, we did. It's called a TENS unit. We did put that on. Play Monkey Island. I love it. Well, right now, because I can't, I can't do this. But I can, well, let me turn the handle on that. I can do that with my thumb on the button, but I can't shoot like uh, Call of Duty. I can, I can zoom in and then shooting comes painfully. But uh, RPGs are my game for the time being until I start doing exercise. I have to, I have to exercise. That's all, that's all it is. Uh, that's a fantastic game, mate. Uh, here's a good question. I am guessing, Grizzly, you're from like Australia, UK, because he said me. So I'm not sure. But uh, you can always tell people type that they're not from America. They're outside America. Jack, I want to watch gaming videos. I have some. You can go to, was it, jackscalfani.com. You'll see some of my videos that I've done. I was horrible. I mean, I'm the average gamer. Jack Jr., he's amazing. That guy, that guy can headshot a person falling off a building. Literally, he did it. I saw it. He, go look at his Instagram account. Uh, what's his Instagram account? I think it's I think it's at period B O I period C A L I. That boy Cali. There's I think that's his. Um, let's see. I tried Fortnite once. I tried Fortnite. You know what I hated about Fortnite? As I'm falling, somebody falls before me, and they just stand there with a gun waiting for me to hit the ground. I'm like, this totally sucks. I can't stand, camping's okay. I'm not against campers, but I can't stand spawn killers. They go where you respawn, they wait till you respawn and blow your head off. I don't want to, that's why I don't want to play with people. I'd rather play the uh, campaigns. Uh, let's see. It's so bloody warm in the UK. Oh, you're in, you are in the UK. I am so sorry. And then you guys get so wet and so, and you can, Cold and everything. Uh, Age of Empires 2. No, I have not played that, uh, Peter. I haven't done that. Suddenly there were people building walls and things. How is this a shooter? Um, 
how was what a shooter? Are you talking about Fortnite? You can play it with a mouse. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find. I'm gonna have to look it up because I I think you can do. Uh, there are games I can do with the um, on the computer. I can do that. W A S D. Is it? I think it's W A S D. Uh, I should get a shirt like that, and then hit. I can use the thumb spacebar, so I can do it all in one hand. Uh, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna ignore my other hand because I know the day that I start building my life around this hand only is the day I've given up on that arm. I'm not giving up on that. So I have work to do. Uh, you should do videos on Age of Empires too. It is very entertaining. Oh, I wish um, my cousin is upstairs asleep right now. He's asleep and he does gaming videos. It's so funny. He has his own channel. Uh, if you say rise up lights, it sounds like you're saying razor blades in Australia. An Australian accent. You would always start from Chicago. I don't know what that is. Field Airport. Not sure uh, what you're talking about. I must have missed your first one. I remember back in the day playing Flight Simulator. Okay, gotcha. Flight Simulator was pretty cool. Uh, I I believe and uh, that roller coaster one that you build. Uh, I can't remember that one. Uh, what is your cousin's channel? Uh, I will. I will promote him. Friend me on Facebook, and I'll plug his channel. I don't know the name of it. I think it's. I know he belongs to Dark Studio. Yes, Roller Coaster Tycoon. That's it. His his company is Dark Studio Photography. So you can look him up there. But I don't know what the name of the channel is. Uh, be right back. Putting the pork belly on the Traeger in the rain. Amen. I love that. Put that pork belly on. Uh, and make sure to coat it with maple uh, and cook it with maple. Have you played Metro Exodus? I tried. That was kind of funky. Uh, theme Park is also great. That's cool. Uh, what do you think about Diablo series? I don't like the, the camera angle. I'm not a – I like – I don't like to be behind my character. I like to be my character. Uh, same with driving. I don't want to drive behind the wheel. I want to drive in the front of the car. I like that camera angle. Have you? Wow, we're way over time. Sorry, guys. But since you got questions, I want to answer them all. Have you ever cooked a tri tip? Yeah. Yeah, I'm from California. That cut is a California cut. I came to Tennessee, and the butchers know what tri tip is, but nobody can get it from me. Uh, I just saw it at Sam's Club pre packaged, like it came from a company. It wasn't like it was cut in the back. So it's not a cut they do in Tennessee. Uh, thanks for the suggestion, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Have you tried the Impossible Burger? Yeah, I tried it. It literally, I know it has ingredients that aren't are questionable, um, but you, I can't tell the difference. Uh, I, I said, I look for my um, Jack on the Go Red Robin video. It's wicked expensive. It's like eight dollars for a hamburger, you know, and. Like if you, I don't know what Burger King's charging, but everybody's charging like three more dollars for Impossible Meat, which isn't meat; it's fake. And I'm not, I'm not into fake. But you guys all want to go there, that'll just drop the prices for me. So I'm not against it. But um, I don't recommend the Impossible Burger. But I will tell you, I promise, if you did a taste test, and I'm going to go to Burger King and get them side by side, I, I could not tell the difference. I tasted this thing and I. I would swear I was eating beef. That's what's crazy. Have you tried the, oh wait, what's the point of all these meat replacements? Let me tell you why they're such a big push. Because we're running out of meat. We can't feed everybody. At some point, we're going to have too many people on this earth. And we can't manufacture enough in the farms. Uh, we, we don't want to, they don't, they we won't buy injected and grossly growing, you know, hormone. Inf infected uh, cows and stuff. So that's what's happening. They're knowing we're heading down the road and they know we're going to, we're not going to be able to provide meat to everybody. And then on the other hand, for the for the people who are vegetarians and vegans and who don't eat meat, I don't get it. Unless it's just killing an animal is the only reason you don't eat meat. Uh, I don't, uh, let's see, we will start eating raccoon. Oh, well, I don't want to know about that. Why is vegan stuff more expensive? Healthy is always more expensive. B 
because, and if you think about it, a lot of your healthier people have higher incomes, it seems. Okay, cool. Because I know I was raised on food stamps, Medi-Cal and welfare. I was raised on all that. Um, my mom used that to get back on her feet and get a real job and take care of her kids the way she should. That's what the state programs are for, not to be abused. So uh, why is vegan stuff more expensive? Should I yolo my life savings on, I don't know what that says. Is that supposed to say Tesla? I have a friend that eats fake meat because he had a health issue. Cutting back on real meat would be better for him. Okay, have look up the ingredients. If you can't pronounce it, if you can't identify it from just looking at it, then you should be concerned, okay? Because we used to be okay back in the day, and now you can't get the wheat the Indians had when the pilgrims came. That wheat doesn't exist anywhere in the world. It's been altered. It's been genetically enhanced to grow faster. It's, it's got an, uh, an addictive property. It's a mess. Uh, let's see. Uh, agree the ingredients of the fake meats are terrible. Listen, <clears throat> I believe God wanted us to have fake meat. He would have dropped it on us. He wanted them to have manna. He dropped it on them. So, you know, I, when we start messing with it, I, I mean, I believe most of our health, all of our health problems are food related. All of them. The worst part is you can't get away from it. You got to eat. But I believe that we have done more damage than good in our, in our food industry. People talk about Americans all the time and how we're changing. And it's just, we just need, it, it's just tough. That's why you want to grow uh, heirloom tomatoes. You want to grow your own stuff. I mean, if you truly want to eat good, grow, like there's Italians that they grew everything. They grew their tobacco. They smoked their whole life, but they never had any lung issues. They died from old age. Okay. They grew everything. Their wine this whole, there was a village in, in Italy, and the doctors went there. They were examining their blood and everything to try to find out, how are they not getting cancer? None of them died, 100% died of old age of this. this. You can look it up on Google. Yeah, I believe there's a documentary on it. Uh, locusts taste like chicken. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, but I never checked. Do you still manufacture your spices? Yes. Still have the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. We have... Uh, I think we're down to like 20, 30 cases. Uh, can I get them shipped to Poland? Uh, no, the, the, the only way is to, because it's like $65 to ship out of America. So like when I ship to Germany, it costs like an arm and a leg. That's why we don't do international. Plus, a lot of countries are not the most honest. So they charge on top of my, my charge to, book, to ship it. So they're like, oh, you have to pay a tax, you have to do this, you have to do that. It was a mess. And customs was really dishonest. Uh, do you have any hidden talents? Uh, um, I don't know if they're hidden. I mean, I, can, I got a lot of talents. I can do video editing. I can do Photoshop. Uh, I do my own website. Uh, I, can, I do all my own stuff, all my marketing, uh, all that stuff. Uh, radio, I did artist management. A lot of people know that already that I used to manage a country singer, movie stars, singers, directors in Hollywood. Uh, I only meet, I am healthy. Cool. Good job, Peter. Uh, been doing keto for three years and my vitals are better than before. You know, I want to interview my brother and put it up on YouTube. He's been eating meat 100%. He's zero carb for three years. He's been to the doctor getting A plus you know, results, he goes to the gym, he goes and works out with a trainer like two, three times um, a week. I mean, he says, and he's in his 50s, so he says, I feel like I'm 30 again. I've never felt better. Like, really? So you guys, there will be a day when we realize how bad our food is, how bad sugar is. I mean, we know, but we need to know seriously. It's like about... I mean, it's like putting a line of crack on the table. It's like, go ahead. I'm like, no, that's dangerous. That'll kill me. You know? And that's what sugar's like. Uh, and yet we still partake in it. 
and I'm not sure how we're going to change down the past. I love potatoes too much to go keto. Um, yeah, that you got to do potato substitutes like cauliflower. You can blend cauliflower and put butter. You could make it taste so creamy and good that you feel like you're eating mashed potatoes, but you kind of know how to do it. I've done it before on the show. But a nice set today. I took them out of the box and washed them. End up cutting my finger. Oh, I'm so sorry, kids. Go. I it's I, I haven't cut my finger in a long time because because well Tammy's been doing all the cutting, so I really can't say. I can't give credit to me. Do you play any video games, dude? Where were you like five minutes ago? That's all we were talking about. Go back in the chat. Look on the on the questions. We were nothing but video game talk. Um, cauliflower rice. I've never done that. I have some in the kitchen. Haven't tried it out. Out of all, all the countertop appliances, uh, what one is your favorite? Let me think. Um, instant Instant Pot or the um, Ninja Foodie? Those are identical. They both air fry now. They both uh, pre my pressure cooker. I use all the time because I take a, I take any crock pot recipe. Uh, add a little water because you have to have water in a pressure cooker to create pressure. Um, but it's amazing. You can take an eight-hour cook and condense it to a 20-minute pressure cooker cook. Mm -hmm. Did you ever try something like that? By the way, those on Facebook, just want to let you know, uh, I will be there in a minute. I'll answer all your questions. I'm going to wrap up. Um, did you ever try something like that? Do you know a duck? A duck selling lemonade. I, I'm not sure what some of you people are writing. I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. Um, but uh, I just, uh, let's see. In one of your restaurant reviews, one of the employees talked about smoking artichokes on his Kamado grill. Yeah. I think that's my buddy who owns a Kamado Joe. He loves his Kamado Joe. I'm not a Kamado guy. I don't play the big game well. I want to push a button and cook. That's it. I don't want to have to go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. In. It takes a half hour to get the temperature right. What is the saltiest food? Let's see. You've ever eaten? Probably caviar. Mm. We're going to wrap this up. I'm way overboard. But you guys keep sending questions, so I don't want to stop. I think it was this place on Broadway in Nashville. If I am not mistaken. Uh, hey, Mike, what town are you from? Uh, obviously, I'm guessing you're local. I love your coffee mug. Thank you, Peter. How has Pastor Laurie Davis been doing during this COVID mess? Um, fine. He travels a lot. He does a lot of speaking engagements. Uh, his retirement took him worldwide. So when smoking ribs on a pellet grill and chicken thighs, what time should I put the chicken thighs on at 250 tip? Okay, like a chicken in the oven takes about an hour at 350. So you figure it's probably going to take an hour and 45 minutes at 250. So if you're cooking at 250 um, and you have just chicken thighs that's cut up, it's going to be a lot faster. You only need about – just make sure the chicken thighs are they, – they recommend 165, but I – well, they recommend the breast 165, 185 in the thigh. So pick, you know, that's what I do. You don't want the redness near the bone. You want it all to be, you don't want that. Um, I go to 170 with my chicken breast. But if you're doing thighs, go to 185. I've gone higher, but I try not to. That's like an hour, the last hour. Uh, Desert Rat Barbecue. Courtney's is in Mount Juliet, not Lebanon. Oh, I guess it is. I didn't even think about that. Okay, let me tell you why. My pastor is in Lebanon, and he eats at Courtney's all the time. He's the one who, who worked with Courtney's during the tornado. I'll go back and change it. Uh, I apologize. But uh, Mount, Mount Julian and Lebanon are like side by side. That's like, well, it's not in Buena Park. It's in Anaheim. Sorry. You can Google it. It'll be the only Courtney's. I don't believe you're going to get a Courtney's in Lebanon confused with the Courtney's in Mount Juliet because they're literally a freeway. On one side of the freeway is Mount Juliet. On the other side is Lebanon. Um, can I visit you in Nashville? Oh, I wanted to tell you guys. 
Okay, this is why I started the uh, Facebook group called Let's Eat Nashville. So when you're coming to Nashville to visit on a trip, you can check out all my videos. You can talk to people. Um, and then Let's Eat Hendersonville also. I started those two so that we could all discuss food on there and what's our favorite places to eat and all that. Um, if you're coming to Nashville, any of you, and you want to hook up, reach out to me. Find a way to contact me. I answer all my messages. So you can do it through Facebook, Instagram, email, whatever you need, okay? You can do it during the chat here. And um, basically, I'll have, we'll do a video together. If you want to be in one of my Jack on the Go videos, we'll find a place. You know, but you got to give me notice. I got a buddy who's coming next summer. That's plenty of notice. But uh, he can just hook up with me. I'll pick a place. We'll meet there. Uh, I'll shake his hand, and we'll take a picture together. We'll, I get to brag about you guys. It's awesome. Let's see here. Peter Gomez, my favorite food is Aunt Myrna's cheese salad. What is up with this cheese salad? You guys, you, I don't know if you guys are joking about it or you really like it. I want to meet Jack and do a video together. Yeah, if you're coming through town, let me know. Give me notice. I'm going to be passing through. I have like three people who've already reached out to me and want to meet me. That's totally fine. And then we can review something together. You guys can be in the video because my opinion is as important as your opinion. I love having viewers on the show with me. I love having you do a video with me. That's awesome. Do you do uh, YouTube shout outs? No, I don't. Because if I do one shout out, it becomes a mess. Everybody wants one. Uh, but not, not against, I don't do it against anybody. I don't hate it, other YouTubers. I respect other YouTubers, but I start doing shout outs. And the thing I will do, a lot of people want to collaborate. A lot of cooking shows want to collaborate with me, and I have I require 2,000 subscribers. That's all. If you have 2,000 subscribers, we can do a video together. Uh, you guys say, well, why 2,000? If you've ever done YouTube, by the time you get to 2,000, you're serious about your trade. You're serious about doing the channel. Uh, I've, I've helped too many people that are no longer around because they only had a few hundred. And when you get to 2,000, I know you're, I help one lady. She's now, I think she's past me. She's like, she does baking. Um, simply baking, I think it's called. She was a total sweetheart. And I, I was proud. I, I, I partnered with her in a video years ago, in the very beginning of her channel. And now she's grown. I love that. Uh, what is specific about Tennessee barbecue? Compared to Texas barbecue, uh, Tennessee barbecue is just pork. Texas barbecue is beef. That's the difference in my mind. I think Tennessee barbecue does great pork. I think Texas barbecue does better on beef because they have an overabundance of beef, beef ribs and um, just everything. Let's see. Let's do a... Peter, I'm not sure what you mean by a duck selling lemonade. Kiwi farm recipe, unless that's their, their logo. I don't know. Have you thought about making a series about making different drinks? Drinks aren't very, I don't do cocktails. I don't do alcohol. I cook with alcohol only, but I don't do, uh, I don't drink alcohol. I'm not promoting it. It's like promoting gambling and pornography. And it, those are things I don't associate myself with. So you're not going to, but I will review drinks and I have done some drinks like for summer, a new lemonade or something. Uh, but Peter, yeah, sorry, I'm not doing, they have channels to do just cocktails. And they're really good, too. They're very talented people. Uh, I'm just, yeah. Let's see. Here we go. I'm just not a cooking channel, and I'm trying to get far, but it seems so difficult. I've been doing it for like three years now. Okay, so my rule, this is some free advice. My rule is, if something isn't working, don't keep doing it. If something isn't working, tweak it. Tweak one factor of it, tweak another factor of it, okay? Let's say you're doing comic books. It's not working. So you may want to switch to Star Wars. Do a channel on Star Wars. And then that blows up. The problem is if you've been doing the same thing for three years now and you're not getting the results you want, the same, whatever you're doing, it's got to go. Like Jack University, Jack U. That was a great name. I love that. I did Jack U and it didn't do well and I didn't feel 
Uh, I did um, Cooking with Jack 2. Um, it didn't do well, so I let it go. I let it die. That's what Google does so well. They're good at cutting. It's called cutting the fat. It's things you don't need. So look, analyze your channel. See how you can tweak it. You need another topic. What? Always watch for success. Your viewers will, will teach you and show you where to go. So follow the numbers. So let's say you do a video on uh, Iron Man and you get 10,000 views in like one day. Well, guess what? Your channel is now all about Iron Man. You don't need to be doing um, the Hulk and everybody else because they're not bringing the numbers. Iron Man's bringing the numbers. You understand? Let your viewers tell you what's popular to them. What, you have an audience, I guarantee, I, I'm guessing. I don't know how big your audience is, but whatever it is, I don't care if you have a thousand people, watch the numbers. Go look at your, always follow your most famous videos. It shows you in the dashboard. It says, what's your top videos for the week? Like, that. Oh, let's be honest, on, on my religious channel. Okay, we did a video, uh, can Christians have oral sex? We did one video like that, and it went through the roof. It went crazy. It's like our number one video for the past two years. I'm like, geez. So that's, you've got to look and see what's popular. You may not want to be anything. We weren't smutty about it, but you don't want to be smutty. Don't sell yourself short. If you don't like it, uh, Cody Lee, don't do it. I, I just don't know how to get the exposure. I have 250 subs. Um, go, uh, do me a favor. Uh, What's your opinion on the coronavirus? All right, hold on a minute. My opinion is that, there we go, that you should hang out in the boys club. That's my opinion. So anyway, um, but basically, Cody Lee, you want to join Facebook groups. I don't, I don't know what you're vlogging about or what your videos are about, but you want to join groups that have the same thing in common and talk to people who love what you love and advertise yourself, and advertise your show to people who care. That's called target marketing, okay? Go watch my video series, How to Make Money on YouTube. There's like 11 videos to play this I have. Uh, go watch, then go watch social media marketing. You should watch all of them. They're all free. That's why I made them, so I can send everybody who needs them to the videos. I've noticed since learning about thumbnails and titles from uh, Daryl Eves, all right, views are much more better than before yeah by the way cody lee if you don't know how to make thumbnails how to do photoshop how to do affinity photo how to design thumbnails that's important your titles are important your i'll explain it all in those videos I, we go through everything how important everything is okay um i'm saying goodbye guys i went over it's been an hour i love you guys it's saturday morning well it's not any it's almost saturday afternoon some of you are already in the afternoon. Jack, what do you think of all? Oh, no, no politics, please. I think some of the really good content on your channel is the reviews. The one with the pellet comparison was really good. I'm doing another one, Mike. Everybody wants me to do the Lumberjack winner against um, Bear Mountain. So that's coming. Uh, let's see. Merry Christmas to you, too. Uh, you make great videos. Thank you, Peter, for all your support. Thank you all. Um, um, but basically, uh, I just want to say thanks for spending time with me. Once again, I thank you guys. It's not about my time. It's about you guys hanging out. We get to do this every Saturday morning. We usually start about 9.50. In case there's any glitches, by 10 o'clock, we're definitely on. All right? I love you guys. I'm going to disconnect, and I will see you next week. Take care.